This is the QB Film Room. Brian here. The morning after our first slate of preseason games, and there's a few quarterback situations that uh, we were able to digest a little bit, um, and we're going to talk about. So, number one, Carson Wentz in Philly. His first opportunity to see the field. Okay. Doug Peterson put him into the game late in the second quarter, and he played the entirety of the second half. He went 12 of 24 for over 100 yards. He threw an interception down in the red zone. All in all, Wentz showed some positive signs in terms of moving athletically and making some throws uh, on the run in terms of either sidestepping the Russ and finding his target down the field or actually throwing on the move with pretty good arm strength. So, the, so those were some positives that we were able to see from Wentz. The game doesn't look too fast for him. He's able to still be very athletic at, at the uh, – you know, at the pro level. But there were some finer components to the game operating in that Peterson system that were off. He wasn't accurate for the most part. Uh, and timing and uh, some of his mechanics in terms of his release and, it, and his lower body looked a little bit off to me. So um, it was a mixed bag for Wentz. But there is a lot of improvement based upon this one preseason sample size game that we have, you know, right now. But he needs to improve a lot in terms of if he's going to have a chance to compete for this job. But, but, he showed signs that are, are very encouraging in terms of his ability to play at this level. And, you know, in terms of movement, arm strength, finding people down the field. So that was positive. The other quarterback situation, Washington. Okay, Nate Sudfield, their guy that, that they selected in the later rounds, looked really good. I mean, really, really good. He went 10 of 15 for over 100 yards. He threw a touchdown pass, operated smoothly and competently, throwing with accuracy and timing in that Jay Gruden system in his first game as a pro. So that's an encouraging sign could be a developing situation if they don't uh, choose to re-sign or sign Kirk Cousins to a long-term deal. Possibly Nate Sudfield could be Gruden's guy uh, in the future in the nation's capital. Lastly, Mark Sanchez in Denver. Sanchez looked really good. He went 10 of 13 for 100 yards, threw a touchdown pass, had an interception. Um, later on in the first quarter, he got one quarter of action, but Sanchez threw that interception trying to um, throw a ball into a window that wasn't there and into a window that doesn't uh, that Mark isn't able to do because he doesn't have uh, the arm to get it in there. But I did a piece on Sanchez that will actually show the throw. Uh, but all in all, a, a solid night for Mark. Um, and he is clearly in the driver's seat right now in terms of possibly winning that starting quarterback job in Denver. 